Science is not a body of knowledge which you pour into people. It, it's a process. It's a way of thinking. I believe that the real love of science and the interest in science and the understanding of science comes from practical work and actually seeing things happening and investigations that really stimulate their learning. I love it. I think I've learned more in these one and a half months than I did in three years of science in my old school. It's awesome. Doing practical stuff really helps us learn and have fun at the same time. I love the way Mr. Merritt teaches. He's a, one of the best teachers we have. One of my ultimate goals is to make science in the classroom more like science out in the world as is practiced by scientists. Most schools understand that point of view, but of course not all schools have the resources to be able to do it properly. The resources are important. The equipment's important, but above all, it's about people and it's about the teachers that we've got. And the teachers we've got are enthusiastic about their subject and they're bringing excitement into the, the students as a result. It doesn't matter when the school day ends. Uh, most of our teachers are going home and trying to figure out ways in order to do things better and do things differently, um, do things more scientifically. People say, gosh, you know, you don't need to spend any time preparing your classes because you've been doing that for 35 years. I say, well, of course I do. I mean, I've got to improve what I did, you know. To, to build some enthusiasm, some excitement about science. For me, it's a very important part about teaching. Any student, you know, whatever they're doing, business studies or arts or whatever, I think it's essential that in today's world they have some sort of a science background. Otherwise, you can't possibly understand the factors that are so important to society, to the world today. The scientific worldview that will make our students dynamic and flexible and able to solve problems and confront situations in society that we don't even know of yet and that we haven't seen and that they'll face that our generation hasn't. Science being brought to life by the right questions, by the right experiments, by the right activities is what it's about and that's what we've got here.